we know that a circle is the collection of all the points which are at a fixed distance away from a fixed point. We also know that the fixed point is called the center of the circle and the fixed distance is called the radius of the circle. Now let us see what is the diameter of a circle. Well, the diameter is a line segment joining the two points on a circle and passing through the center of the circle. So these are two points lying on the circle and if we can draw a line segment joining these two points which passes through the center, then this line segment is called the diameter of the circle. So AB is the diameter of the circle because it joins two points on the circle and also passes through the center of the circle. Now can a circle have just one diameter or can it have more than one diameter? Well, what if I can draw this line segment? So even this line segment joins two points on the circle and passes through the center. I can draw yet another line segment joining two points on the circle and passing through the center. In fact, we can draw many diameters or we can say a circle can have infinite number of diameters. This is so because we know that we can draw infinite number of lines passing through a point. So we can draw infinite number of lines passing through the center. So the line segments whose end points lie on the circle and which pass through the center are called diameters. So we can have infinite number of diameters for a given circle. So a circle can have infinite number of diameters. Now what about the lengths of these diameters? Are they the same or are they different? Let us see. So if we consider the diameter AB, then the length of this part, that is CA, is equal to R, that is the radius of the circle. Why? Because we know that the distance of any point on the, on the circle from the center is equal to the radius of the circle. The distance of any point on the circle from the center is equal to the radius of the circle. So CA is equal to R. Similarly, CB is equal to R because C is the center and B is a point lying on the circle. The distance of any point on the circle from the center is equal to the radius. So CB is equal to R. AB is equal to CA plus CB. So it is CA plus CB. That is equal to 2R. So AB is equal to 2R. So the length of diameter AB is equal to 2R. Now let us take another diameter. GF, once again consider the distance GC. So it is the distance of a point on the circle from the center, that is R. FC is the distance of a point on the circle from the center, which is R. So diameter GF is equal to R plus R which is equal to 2R. So the length of this diameter is equal to 2R. In fact, the length of any diameter is equal to 2R. So the length of the diameter of a circle is equal to 2 times the radius. So if we know the radius of a circle, we can calculate the diameter of the circle as twice of the radius. Now let me show you an interesting thing. Take a circle. Now this point, that is the center of the circle, is marked as O. Now fold this circle into two equal parts. So we fold this circle into two equal halves. Now 
now we see that the line segment which is marked by this fold it divides this circle into two equal parts so let's mark this line segment when we mark this line segment we see that it passes through the center of the circle that is it passes through point o also the two ends of this line segment lie on the circle so we can say that this line segment is the diameter of the circle so we can say that the diameter of the circle divides the circle into two equal parts also a circle is symmetrical it is symmetrical about its diameter so a diameter divides the circle into two equal parts so we have seen that a diameter divides a circle into two equal parts and each of the equal parts is called a semi circle because semi means half so diameter divides a circle into two semi circles so this this is a semi circle this is another semi circle so a diameter divides a circle into two semi circles so we have seen that a line segment joining two points on the circle and passing through the center is called the diameter of the circle and the length of the diameter is equal to twice of the radius of the circle and it divides the circle into two equal parts